Hi, you guys. Welcome back. I hope you guys had an amazing spring break and you guys are ready to get back into learning. I know I am. So you guys are probably looking at the title of this assignment and you're probably just like, what? <laughs> what is this about? Um, a few of my friends from this morning's morning meeting got a little sneak peek of this. So if you already were in our morning meeting and you already know what I'm going to say, just go ahead and go fill out the forms assignment for me. We already discussed this, but if you guys want to just watch uh, again so that we can make sure that you know absolutely everything you need to know, keep on watching. I recommend it for sure. So uh, for my sweet friends who were not in the morning meeting this morning, I felt that it need, needed to be made into a video uh, for my little announcement that I had. So um, over the past you know, couple months that we've been doing virtual learning together, I have noticed a reoccurring theme uh, concerning the assignments. So you guys are going to be getting a little bit of tough love from me. Uh, concerning your assignments. So for the past couple months, I have had to dedicate a whole entire day just to grading y'all's assignments because some of my friends, now I say some, not all of you, some of my friends will turn in their assignments extremely late or they won't do them at all. And I'm having to check back at assignments that are five weeks old. Five. That, that's a little excessive. So an assignment that you were supposed to do five weeks ago, I'm still checking to see if you did it or not. Now, that's not really fair to me to have to sit and spend a whole entire day doing that because that takes me away from more time with you guys, which is what you guys are starting to see more of is that from here on out, now that we're back, you guys are gonna be more into small group meetings, individual meetings, in the morning meetings. So you, you don't get as much of me and I don't get to dedicate more time to you guys and to making great things for you guys because I'm spending a whole entire day going back and forth, looking through every single assignment uh, that we've done in previous weeks and including this past week. So because this is an issue that I keep seeing, um, we're going to stop doing that. And you're probably like, well, Ms. Gonzalez, how are you going to stop them from doing that? Yeah. So how I'm going to get you to stop is by not taking a grade for those assignments at all. You get a zero. Yep. So every week, every Friday, you guys are getting a conduct slip from me. You're seeing what your grades are and you're getting a list of missing work from me. So what's going to happen is, is that you have until that next Friday to get that week's missing work done or it goes in as automatic zeros. OK, I created a block schedule for you guys to make it easier for you guys to give me your best work. Now, for so many of you, I can truly. Please are you guys are and I can see your personalities and so many of your responses. Y'all, some of your letters to Opal just made me so happy. And I just, oh, I was like, man, I wish I had you in person or I was with you so I could tell you how amazing these are because those letters to Opal that so many of you all wrote were just chef's kiss. They were amazing. And I know that I can't take credit for all of your amazing abilities, but I can't say that I am insanely proud of y'all. Those were amazing. Now, I'm trying to. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Having a having a having a brain, brain fart. Um, so let me go back just a little bit. Just I just want to make sure I don't miss anything for you guys because I want you to 100% understand what is happening. So let's say this week, OK? You guys. You know, some of you maybe have an appointment or you have this or you have that and you just turn in your assignment a day late. 
guys, I'm not worried about that. I am not worried at all if you turn it in a day late or you get it done at a different time during that week. I always check all of y'all stuff on Friday. OK, that's my day that I dedicate to checking all your stuff, making sure your grades are updated, making sure I'm making the list for your missing work, setting up your conduct slips to send to you and your parents. That's my day just for getting your grades done. Now. If I give you a missing work list. OK. okay. I give you your conduct slip and I give you your miss. OK. You have until next Friday to get that work done or else it's an automatic zero and we're done. OK. We can no longer go two, three, four, five weeks back and do assignments. It's not benefiting you at all. Because I know y'all are just getting it done just so you have a grade and that's not OK. I created that block schedule to get more quality work from y'all and so that it's not all bunched into one. So the fact that you guys only have two like real assignment sections each day except on Fridays and we still can't get assignments done, that's disappointing. Now, if we want to start having the load all over again where you have every subject every day, I will be glad to put it back that way. And if that's what I need to do to get you to get your work back, then that's the next step that I will take. I don't want to take that step, though, because I have so many of you who are giving me such good quality work. You take care of reading and social studies and you give me your best quality work. You show me what you got. It should not take you less than an hour to do these assignments. I should not see on the teams that you were only on for an hour and I got two sentences on your responses. Now, do you think that is like a worthy? Do you think that's B worthy? Do you think that you're going to get a good grade when you give me the bare minimum? Grades aside, do you think your learning is going to be successful? Do you think you're going to succeed in the future? If you're giving me your bare minimum. Guys, you are learning at home. You are doing something that is very hard. Some of you are succeeding and it's perfect for you because you can go at your own pace and that's wonderful and I love that for you. However, I have friends who need me to be like, hello, are you in there? What you doing? OK, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's just what you need. OK, if you need me sitting here going. Hello, I will be happy to do that. OK. But you guys are fifth graders. Responsibility is a huge thing for you guys to start learning before you go to sixth grade. Because when you go to sixth grade, it's all you. It's all you. OK, so those lists each week, that's going to help you. OK, after that, if I see. Well, let me let me stop before I get too much in there. Let me finish this section. You have a week to make up missing work and that's it. Done is day. You have a week. OK, now here's the thing. If you have something. Way crazy in a family emergency, somebody's sick, somebody's hurt, anything. Just send me a message. That's why I made those private channels was so you could ask your questions or tell me your things in confidence OK? You guys know where to find me. There should be no excuse for you not coming to me when you need something. I can't sit every day and go hello. Can't do that every day. You're just going to get annoyed of me. Plus I I'm sitting here trying to make all those videos and get all your stuff ready to go. OK, only so many times can I go hello, hello, hello. OK. So you guys got to help me. You got to help me help you. OK. You need to be responsible. Send me a message when you need help. Send me a message when something happened and you can't get your work done today. OK, I promise y'all I am so understanding and so flexible. OK, as long as you communicate with me, we are fine. OK, let's say I give you your missing work list this Friday. OK, and then next Friday. You know something happens and you've you forgot to do one of the assignments. 
OK, well, that's when you message me and you say, Miss Gonzalez, I just need till the end of the day and I'll finish it and I'll send it to you. Or can I finish it on Monday? As long as you communicate with me, we're good. I will give you an extension, but here's the thing. I'm not giving you a whole other week extension. No, 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 no. That defeats the purpose. You're already getting a week extension on it. OK, even though you should be getting it done the day of. It's not benefiting you. If we're learning about shapes and then the next week we're learning how to plot those shapes into a coordinate plane and you're learning about the shapes way after we plot them in a coordinate. That just doesn't make sense. You're learning it out of order. You got to learn it in order so it makes sense. OK. So. Recap it real quick. You have a week to get missing assignments done or they go into a zero. OK. Now. Here's the big part. Here's the big, big part that I really need our listening ears open for. Because this part has been a constant thing. And I don't like it. It's very sneaky and not OK for fifth graders to be doing. We all know that there is a turn in button on your team's assignment page. Right. And now when we press that turn in button, it makes the assignment disappear. But does that mean the assignments done? No, the assignment is not done. Which means it's a zero until you complete it. Now. This is also one of the reasons that I'm having to go back to five week old assignments is because I have friends who are pressing the turn in button to make their assignments disappear so they don't have anything to do. That's not OK. And despite my warnings in previous videos and in the beginning of the whole semester for you guys, it still happens every day. It's a little disrespectful to me because I've warned you so many times. But it's also harmful for you. Because I don't know if y'all realize it, but you're getting zeros if you don't ever complete it. Now those those assignments go on your missing work list and if you never complete the missing work list, then they get zeros. But here's the thing. So along with the fact that you only get a week to do those missing those missing work assignments. If you sit and press the turn in button every single day, you're not actually showing up for school. So then you don't get accounted for attendance. You don't get you you're not doing anything. Why should you're not getting counted here? You're not doing anything, which means you're getting zeros, which means your grades are failing. If you have more than two zeros, you're more than likely failing. And I give a lot of grades. Everything you'll do, I give a grade for. OK. I know that this is very tough and very hard, and this is not fun, silly Miss Gonzalez, but the hammer has to come down like Thor in Avengers Endgame. It's got to come down. It's coming down, OK? This is tough love because I want you guys to succeed. I want you to succeed. I want y'all to do well. I want y'all to be successful when you go to Baker. OK, it's not going to be the same. It just makes me sad and it's disappointing and. You guys also have to realize that I can see everything you do all day. Teams has a special little insights for me where I can see what you're doing all day on teams. So when you get on at 1:30 in the afternoon and you press turn in button for all those assignments and then you get off, you're not actually at school. You're not actually doing anything. So when those assignments go on the missing work list and you don't complete them within the week, they go as zeros. They stay zeros when I see that all you do is press the turning button. I'm putting a zero on there and I'm waiting until you do it. OK, guys, we can't keep doing this. We can't. We can't. 
you are not being successful. So now that we are back after spring break, you've been refreshed. You've gotten the week off. Let's get down to business. Let's take care of business. Let's do what we need to do so you can be successful. Okay, I just know what's best for you guys. So please remember, you guys have a week to make up missing work assignments and that's it. Unless you send me an email and there was some horrific emergency to prevent you from doing your assignments. Okay, I'm here for you. I'm literally at this computer all day for you guys. Okay, so please be responsible for your learning. Now the forms assignment that I have attached to it. This is uh, this is your this is a contract again. Agree for you to tell me that you understand. You saw this video. You heard what I had to say and you understand your new expectations for your missing work assignments. You get a week and that's it. We're done because you have plenty of time. I'm sorry, but you do. You only have two subjects each day. Some of them take a little longer than others. But some of y'all, mm, I know you're not working from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on a, what is a normal school day. I know you're not. I know you're not. I see you because I can see it on Teams. OK, I see everything. And guess what? Your parents do, too, because I can send them a screenshot. <gasps> Okay, so this is the week to turn it around. You guys, it's a fresh week. We're back. It's fresh. Let's do this. Let's get it done. Let's make it up. Let's fix it. Let's go. You guys, we got this. Okay, I'm here for you guys. If you need anything, you know where to find me. So please, please let me know if we need to do a quick one-on-one -on -one meeting. Please let me know, guys. I'm here for you. Please, please, please. Okay. All right, you guys, go ahead and go fill out that forms assignment for me, and I will see you later, Gators. Bye.